Seems like everybody has a Forex YouTube channel nowadays, right? It's time for you to see why I'm one of the longest running YouTube channels with relevant, consistent, and timeless content. The most consistent and real Forex mentor and trader who's gonna show you live results all the time. I urge you all who are aspiring students to give me a call and experience the difference. 619-451-6508. All right, since most of you should already know, my name is Yusuf Scott. I'm the guy behind the So Darn Easy Forex University, also better known as Forex Gold Online. If you guys are here and you're in need of Forex training, whether it's day trading, long-term trading, indices, scalping, whatever it may be, go and check out www.sodarneasyforex.com and see the many options I have to assist you guys. So just as I tell you guys all the time, I'm very grateful and thankful to have you guys here watching yet another video of mine. If you're watching this video and you're not yet subscribed to this channel, wait to click on that subscribe button at the bottom and make sure you also follow us on social media because we're on Facebook and Instagram as well. So what I wanted to do today, I wanted to give you guys my, my little watch list, I guess, a um, couple pairs that I'm looking at to make a... Um, a rather decent move today in the market, or let's say this week in the market, something that I'll be sharing with my students tomorrow during our trailer training at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I wanna give you guys a little heads up on what to expect and what to look out for during this week, all right? Now, this pair that we're looking at, this is the NZD Swiss, okay? So let's, let's take a look at that now. All right, so this is the NZD Switzerland Frank pair. Um, you guys notice the market, let me actually zoom in for you all. You guys can see that the market came down to the zone here. The market came up, danced around, and is back at the same zone. If you guys look at this double yellow uh, horizontal level or zone, we look left. We can see that this market pivoted off of this level, all right, before rising for a, um, a long period of time. You're talking about that's August all the way up until uh, February. So you're talking about six months, all right? The market actually gapped at this same area, okay, during COVID. And then dating back till 2015, all right, you guys will see the market actually, when the Switzerland franc collapsed, it dropped all the way down to this zone and then pulled back and then it started to sort of do its thing, all right? And then that's when the market, of course, made its way to our current uh, area of uh, structure, okay? So this is what I'm anticipating. This market is back at the same zone, all right? This market has been dropping down for the last week or so, okay? If today's candle, let's say when it closed on Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. When today's, when Monday's candle open and closes, if the candle is bullish, small bullish candle, or if it even goes up, that's a sign of the market perhaps going up. Maybe that's not enough confirmation for you. Maybe you need more than that. But I'm telling you, that's going to be a sign of where the market is likely to go. Okay, please use the proper risk management. Okay, if you need more confirmation, please seek more confirmation. But for me, at this level, since it bounced at this level, you're talking about two months ago, or let's say last month or late June, and it's back at the same level, and you have such a strong candle, and it also rejected. All right, it turned around at the end of, well, it turned around at some point during the day and went down and closed small week at the bottom. If this candle chooses not to continue going down, then that's a sign that the market is going to go up. So we have to be very cautious about how we read this one, okay? Make certain that if it chooses not to continue after having such a rather bearish day on Friday, a strong bearish day, I would say, then chances are it may go up, okay? This could be the place where it goes up. So just keep that in mind. Now, something else that I'm looking at and I'm watching is that the rest of the NZD pairs are moving similar. 
See this one, NZD CAD, is similar to this one, NZD USD. Same structure level. In fact, we could put something there. When this market makes it down to here, not that far away, you see, we may have the same type of movement. I will have the same expectation. If the NZD CAD and the NZD USD made it down to this level or this zone, I would expect there to be the same type of uh, switchover. Okay? So the NZD Swiss, uh, it's already at the level, while the NZD CAD and USD, we're waiting for it to actually make it down to the zone. Okay? JPY is doing his own little thing. In fact, it's it's actually sort of ranging in here, but you know it could be moving very similar to the rest of them on its way down, very similar to the NZD CAD and the NZD USD. But you know this you know this is one that it's not totally lined up, but it's similar. But definitely the NZD USD, NZD CAD, they're both doing pretty much the same thing, and I would expect the same type of change when the market goes um, to this zone. Okay. But definitely for certain, the NZD Swiss were already at that zone. And if there's no continuation going down, it's likely that the market will turn around and go back up. All right? But it's, it's up to you to, um, to know when to get in based on your entry uh, strategy. All right? So hopefully this analysis made sense to you all I threw in not just the NZD Swiss, but also looked at the NZD Canadian dollar and the NZD USD, as well as the NZD JPY. Um, the NZD um, Canadian dollar, NZD USD, they're both moving very, very similar, while the NZD JPY sort of um, doing its own little thing, but definitely the NZD Swiss, that's something to watch, all right? Um, listen, hopefully this made sense to you guys. For those of you who are students, you guys know what to expect tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For those of you who are interested in learning more about how to trade, um, maybe you're, you're interested, please know that we still have our double promotion going on. Head over to www.sodoneasyforage.com. Check out the many options that we have so that you can sit in on our trailer training tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So listen, just as I tell you guys all the time, have nothing short of a fantastic day. Remember, stay healthy, stay safe. And let's all remember to stay creative in the times we live in. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.